What is it? We're back again with another video. In today's video, man, we're going to be going over um, a couple of different things, going over mainly some classes. Um, I wanted to do this just because I know some people have uh, are new to the channel. We recently just went crazy over here on YouTube, man. We, when I say we went crazy, man, we went crazy, bro. Um, we were at like 1.3k views on that Black Ops 6 video, and we're two subs off of 500 over a quarter of, or now over, it'll be over half a thousand subs. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm so proud of y'all. Like, I, I'm so appreciative of y'all. Like, dude, seeing that video just blow up and people just loving the video, um, it's been amazing. Um, obviously, there's a part of me that wants to just do another Black Ops 6 video. <laughs> Because, you know, it went so well, but obviously I don't want to just, you know, bump out the same content over and over and over again. Um, so, yeah, so thank you guys so much for that. And since there's some new guys in here, we got, what, over nine new subs in the last couple of, the last, what, few hours, last 12, 15 hours. Um, I wanted to make this video for those new guys um, that uh, are looking for some really good class setups to run um, in NW3 currently. So we're not going to go over some of some of the builds I, I did make videos on some previous builds um plus the you know if they're a little outdated i don't want to just keep making the same video about the same builds in a row so i might touch on things like the acr again here in the next couple of weeks i don't want to pump out that acr video uh to picture video when i pumped out one at like the beginning of the month you know so um or the end of last month i should say um if you really need an acr build um, I'll leave down below a link to my community app. The community app does in fact have a accurate um, updated list of all the guns. The ACR is the only one I'm kind of messing with because I have a couple of about 10, 10 different builds with the ACR that I'm kind of messing with at the current moment. But that one's for the most part up to date. Um, might have an attachment or two different, but that's, that's roughly it. Um, so if you um, want builds that aren't in this video, we're gonna do a couple different ones then check that community app over there uh, it's free and they have a camera tracker and all that good stuff i'm not sponsored by them but um they are it's just a fantastic app especially if you play warzone or whatever they have a lot of stuff to do with warzone and ranked play there too as well so this is a really solid app to have especially if you're someone who cares about your builds anywho the first gun we're going to be talking about is the battle 27 Obviously, because this is the new gun, I wanted to cover this build. This build, I covered this in a video, I think two days ago. Um, we were going over some stuff. I touched on this build. I think it was the video going over everything new in NW3 Season 3 Reloaded. Um, so, the build hasn't changed at all since then. So, I'm just going to go fly through this real quick. Battle 27, we got the Prowl IV Barrel. We got the XRK Bow Breaker Grip. 6 drum mag, hammer grip, and the clarinet, clarinet uh, light stock. Um, this build's really good for mobility, but what's really amazing about this build is this is actually the closest representation of the BAL-27 from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, and even more importantly, even more importantly, if you're someone who played that game a lot like I did, um, this build will be very reminiscent of the BAL-27 Obsidian Steed. Um, I didn't even purposely try to make it similar, but um, because of the way this, uh, this game's uh, you know works and when it comes to editing classes um i made this and it turns out this is very 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 similar to the bow 27 of the city and seed it's got the suppressor integrated barrel it's got like the the 60 rounder the, the you know the grip the stock kind of looks similar obviously the stock and the floor the under barrel could be a little different visually speaking so we kind of get the bow 27 look but for the most part it's pretty pretty accurate to a suppressed bow obsidian seed so um that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I do plan to see if I can make more versions of the bow from the AW. I might actually re-download AW to look at the bow um, and see what type of builds I can get, what they look like, and I can really, really nail them home. Um, but yeah, that's the build that I've been running on the Battle 27. The next gun we're going to go over is going to be the AMR9. So this is a build that I messed with when I was doing the COD Mutity app, and I really fell in love with this build like it's been phenomenal um it's kind of good mobility good recoil control and a decent fire rate for the most part so this is going to be the dr6 hand stop the nimbus uh integrated suppressor the nidar model uh 2023 uh optic 
Sakin grip and, or Sakin ZX grip and then the 50 round magazine. Now you can switch this out with any optic you want. Um, like I normally would run like an ELO side or something, um, but you could obviously run whatever. Um, I've been trying out this, this circle optic and it actually kind of works well for the M MR9. I think it fits it more. Um, this gun has solid everything pretty much. It does have a little issues with some accuracy, mobility, and handling, but the percentages in which it affects is quite low. So even though the bars look a lot like they're being like, you know, horrendously hit by that mobility, it's really not that bad. Um, and yeah, it's a great build. Um, I, what I want to do in the future, it's so hard because of, of SBMM and EOMM. I'm sure some of you guys out there, most of you guys, if not all of you, understand um, how you know this gameplay is right now with the SBMM and EOMM. But I really wanted to get videos for like these you know builds and start doing kind of classic um, showcase the build and get a match with it. But um, it takes hours upon hours just to get one good game and so I wouldn't really be getting all that much good content out for you guys So if you guys want to see gameplay of these Let me know down below of any specific ones you really want to see gameplay of especially some of these ones that I haven't gotten the um, the One trick camo for Cause I'll be working on these going through for one trick So let me know exactly down below if you guys want any specific guns because I know some of you might want to see like maybe you guys want to see me drop a nuke with the uh, MTZ 762 or something um, And I would be down to try to get that or get as best as I can type of gameplay for you guys, but yeah, that was the AMR9 blueprint. Now we're going to go over here to the Bass P. Now, the Bass P is something I'm working on currently, as you can see here. I'm about halfway done with the uh, one trick camo. Uh, by the way, I have nine one tricks done currently. I have every single assault rifle in the game with one trick camo on it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, the Morris Red Dot is the Optic, the STTE88 grip, 45 round mag, the Bruin Venom long barrel, and the Jack BFB. Now, you could change something with this if you really, really wanted to. Um, you could change the Morris sight and put on either the DR6 handstop or... <sighs> Sorry guys, keep yawning. Because um, <laughs> I'm fucking, you know, signature is awful. But anyway, you could also put on the Bruin Flash V8 um, light stock. That will be also really good for mobility. So again, that stock or the, the DR hand grip um both can be uh picked over the optic but i don't mind a little bit of less uh, mobility just because i'm normally playing um snd anyway so i'm playing on medium sized maps so um it's nice to just kind of like um be able to hit sh shots at a farther distance um because the iron sights aren't the most amazing thing in this game they're cool but they're just not accurate enough so that is the Bass P build that I'm running currently. Obviously, these builds continuously change. That's why my job is never over. <laughs> my job is never over because it's constantly changing because they always are nerfing or adjusting attachments. So these builds could change within a week. Who knows? Um, or they may never change. You never know. Um, the next one's going to be the SOA Subverter, or I'm nicknaming it the XA X AX160. Now, some people would argue with me and say this is not the AX160 because the AX160 is an assault rifle, um, which you are correct. The ARX160 or the AX160 is an assault rifle, but um, there's different versions of the AX. So you have the ARX, I believe it's called. Is that the ARX160 is a burst weapon? from like aw um i think there's another cod that had the burst version and then you have the full auto version which is the ax160 which is um very similar to the osa from infinite warfare it was a remaster of the arx160 that was full auto so there's different versions in different kai games for this gun now, this is one of those guns that looks futuristic but isn't and so a lot of the futuristic titles were using this as a as, as a gun because it just fit the the, the theme right um, so this is what I'm currently running for the SOA. I'm running the Dozer 90 long barrel, the Jack BFB, the DR6 hand stop, the 7.62x51 millimeter high grain rounds, and the 7.62x51 30 round magazine. Now, you'll see some people will choose the um, they will choose the 50 drum, but the 50 drum really kills your mobility. Like if you look at the mobility I'm losing for the 30 compared to the 50 it's pretty noticeable right um in some places like sprint some sprint seed is like it's like you know not even losing anything right um obviously this 30 rounder if i didn't have it on would still be 
um, it would be like so fine, right? It would it would it would be okay. You wouldn't have no mobility issues. But I'd rather have the um, you if you have the 50 rounder on, it's fine. Um, but again, I just don't feel like it's it's necessary. But anyway, don't get stuck on that for too long. Um, if you want to build this build a little differently, there's a couple different things you can do. Um, I will say that you can change the barrel out. Now, I like to have that little bit of damage and recoil like assistance, um, but obviously you hurt the mobility pretty hard at the SOA if you have the barrel on. So you could change it off and put something like a stock or a hand grip on um, that will help with mobility. Um, or you could take out the GF, the Jack BFB and put a recoil stock on uh, because the Jack BFB does kind of hurt your ADS speeds quite a bit. It's all based on preferences. Um, you can make this thing into a sniper rifle pretty much if you put like a big, a big heavy scope on it, put like a, a big floor grip on it, and then put on the 50, you know, not the 50, I'm sorry, the um, like one of these high grain rounds ammos, and you put that on. You can make this pretty a pretty heavy assault rifle, heavy hitting, but that really just depends on what you're trying to go for. But that is the AI Clone 60. And then we're going to end the video here in the last one, which we're going to do is the, uh, we're going to do the 762 uh, MTZ. Um, this is something that I feel like I'm going to mess with probably in the future. Um, this build's built off of the carbine kit. So if you don't have a carbine kit, this build pretty much useless to you because this is specifically designed to partake with that carbine kit. Car carbine kit. Um, so I'm running the 762 by 39 40 round magazine. The glass is optic. The MTZ Precision Black Thorn Barrel. The Jack BFB Muzzle and obviously the carbine kit. Now you could run this without the carbine kit, and if you do, I would run a high damage barrel, the Jack BFB, I would run either an optic or no optic, um, and then run the 40 rounder, and if you have an attachment space left, which you should, I think, if I remember correctly, then I would throw in like a DR6 hand stop or something to help with mobility. Um, most of these battle rifles, you want to put like a barrel on to help with the damage, but the rest of the, the gun, you want to really focus on that recoil control, and that speed, right? That mobility. Oh my God, I cannot speak today. Uh, the mobility. You want to focus on that mobility to really um, help with these, these battle rifles. Because the battle rifles are heavy, right? You can think about that, right? Because the battle rifles in comparison to the assault rifles are heavier. Okay, that's the whole concept. The battle rifles are heavier hitting, um, farther hitting usually rifles, right? Like if you have um, the Scar Heavy is going to hit which like i think in nw2 it's called attack v i believe um the attack v for example is going to hit way harder way farther um than the attack 56. the difference is um is that the battle rifles are heavier right they, even though they're heavier hitting and they're hitting your target heavier uh, more powerful faster or whatever it may be they're also going to be weighing you down a whole lot right and that's why you take notice a lot of these battle rifles have really bad mobility um and like some of these guns like i think it was the um, there's, I think it's the Sidewinder or whatever has terrible mobility, terrible. Um, that's something that I've been struggling with with the, the Sidewinder when I use it. It's just getting used to that mobility because you really lose that, especially going from something like the ACR or the G36 or the MTZ 556, etc. Um, same thing with the SMGs and all that, and the same thing for marksmen and snipers. Like those things, they have their own. Um, class-based benefits um, so it just really depends on your needs at the time uh, unless you're like me and you're grinding everything in that case I'm sorry fam you're just gonna get punished <laughs> that is just how it is unfortunately um, there's no way to like get amazing movement with these guns you can um, get close to it um, if you see some guy going around doing like 360 fucking drop shotting jump shotting with these uh, battle rifles I would say he's a pretty good chance he's using some type of exploit in the game because currently these mobilities on these guns are pretty slow. So even if you build a really fast attachment uh, base weapon, you're still going to rough. You're still going to struggle. But with that being said, man, that's about it for today's video. I hope I don't stutter the rest of the day because I just woke up. So I hope I don't stutter no more like I have this entire video. <laughs> if you enjoyed the stuttering, leave a like down below. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I love you guys. You're kind. And uh, let me know down below in what guns you would like to see next with the class setups. If there's any specific guns you guys want to see, let me know down below. Um, and I will make those videos for you guys. That being said, love you guys. You're wonderful kind. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.